Jenna Loretto, this year's race for the Republican nomination has been a fierce battle. And with Illinois holding its primary elections tomorrow, front-runner runner Mitt Romney and Rick Santorum have been campaigning all throughout the state. A poll by the American Research Group found 44% of likely GOP primary voters would choose Romney, compared to 30% for Santorum. The same survey shows Romney is leading Santorum 51% to 36% early voting. Newt Green Greenrich and Ron Paul are also still in the running for the nominee. Although the race between the Republican presidential nominees are gaining a lot of attention, County Clerk Larry Reinhart does not expect this primary will bring in more voters from Jackson County. As always, we hope everyone comes out and makes their voice heard. And we hope for a high turnout tomorrow, but unfortunately, we'll probably be no higher than normal, 20, maybe 30 percent if we're really lucky, but I, I expect 20 to 25 percent turnout. And tomorrow's primary vote will decide which candidates will represent the party in many local elections as well. The race for the 12th Congressional District has become a highly contested battle, with three candidates from both the Republican and the Democratic side pushing for the seat. David Lechtefeld is unopposed for re-election as state senator in the 58th district. However, the race for the state senate in the 59th district has four candidates hoping to grab the nomination. For state representative, Mike Bost is running uncontested for his spot in the 115th district, while Brandon W. Phelps is the only candidate for state representative in the 118th district. The state's attorney race is between two Democratic candidates, Matt Chancey and Michael Carr while there is only one candidate from each party running for appellate court judge. To find out where you can vote, visit the website at the bottom of your screen. In studio, I'm Michelle Lindstrom, Evening Edition.